What's up guys, Travis here, and I know it's been a while. Uh, we've been working on a lot of other projects. Uh, we've got a new podcast up, and uh, we've been working on some external projects, so I really haven't had a whole lot of time to focus on the YouTube channel very much, and I also don't stream uh, that often anymore, so I've been kind of focusing my efforts on other things, but I was in a stream earlier, and... Uh, I, there's something I've been wanting to talk about. I just kept forgetting about it. And so I figured now would be a good time to go ahead and bring it up. And the what, what it is, is your mic probably sounds like crap. Um, you might not know it, and your viewers might not know it. Uh, but it can certainly probably sound better than it does. And, you know, if you're using a good mic and... Uh, an external sound card and all these other things there's still a very large chance that you don't have it set properly uh, which is not your fault they're they're not as easy as just plugging them up and turning it on so in this video we're just going to quickly walk through uh, a few ways to get that sound more dialed in this is not a video on how to fix your mic like if there's no sound at all or if you can't get it in OBS or Streamlabs OBS, that is not the point of this. So if you comment asking about that, I will not answer you. Um, it, and the other thing, if you don't have basic understanding of PC knowledge, then you should probably start there first and then work your way up to these things. Because I get about 20 people a week coming through the Discord asking for simple Windows help. And that's not what we do. That's not the point of any of this. So uh, I don't mean to sound like an ass, but it's I just don't have the time to help everybody. So I will not help if you come in asking me simple Windows help, like tips and and uh, stuff like that. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started with it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to your little speaker icon in the bottom right, and you want to go to sound settings, or if you don't have that, you might have sounds or something else. Different Windows updates have different settings here, but either way, you just want to get to, not this screen, you want to get to this screen, your little sound settings. And you're going to want to go to your recording tab, and then whatever source you're using to record, in my case, the Scarlett 2 i2, uh, you want to go to Properties, Levels, and turn that down. And make sure that's sitting in the 50... 0 to 50 mark. Um, so basically what happens is you will, you'll have your mic gain turned up on your external sound card and then Windows will also turn up the mic gain. And the problem with that is y the, the internal Windows gain is you're driving the preamps too hard that way. Um, so these, these need to be as low as possible. Your first bit of gain should always come from your hardware that you're using. So if you have a volume knob on your mic, if you have a volume knob on your external sound card, you start at the mic and you get the levels where you want it, maybe halfway to start. And then you work on your hardware, your interface, and you get that somewhere that's comfortable. But if you're going, you know, 100%, 75% on anything, you're You've got, you, you need a cloud lifter, you need a FET head, you need something to boost that signal cleanly to get good output. So what happens is when people in their stream, they'll raise their voice and yell. And there's other things you can do to combat that too, like compressors and things like that, which we'll talk about in another video. Uh, I know, I promise, don't worry. But you shouldn't even be considering that yet. That's not something you should be focusing on. You should just strictly be focusing on getting your audio levels correct first. So the lower the volume of all the things, the better the sound will be. But obviously that means it's going to be harder to hear, so you need to make compromises. And if you're using a dynamic microphone, then a, f a FET head or a cloud lifter would be very beneficial. If you're using a condenser microphone, then as long as you're supplying it 48 volt phantom power, you should be okay. <clears throat> and if you're using a USB microphone or, or any one of those, then that's going to be up to the developer of the software for the microphone. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, so we've got our microphone set somewhere between 50 and, and 0 and 50. And my interface is currently set to about 50. 
and so everything's coming through nice and clear and if I wanted to I could yell at the top of my lungs into this mic and it would never distort and what you'll find a lot of times is, is people in their streams will yell and it doesn't matter how close or how far away they are it's just pure trash sound and it's it's clipping because you're you're pushing the signal past that negative zero decibel mark anything above that's digital noise it's digital clipping you don't want that so you want to make sure it always stays under zero no matter what and there's the, these are the few ways that you would go about doing that so again microphone zero to fifty somewhere in this range and then set your hardware appropriately if you have a compressor in your hardware turn that on if you have a limiter you can try turning that on but a limiter is not going to keep the sound from distorting it's just going to keep the sound from going above negative zero so that's you know if the sound would have gone above negative zero it's still going to clip it's just going to be not as loud when it does it so uh, there's other things you can do also um, you know there's noise gates and stuff and noise gates aren't going to help the louder sounds it'll help the quieter sounds be cut out so like clicking the mouse tapping your keyboard things like that will be uh, inaudible as long as you set the gate up correctly but yeah as far as loudness is concerned start at the mic work your way down the signal chain till you get the computer the computer should be the lowest no matter what because all this is going to do is boost artificial gain we don't want to do that we just want to focus on the mic make sure that's right the hardware interface and then the computer and that's it that's that's all I've got for you guys so give that a try uh, if you find that you're having trouble getting enough volume you know make sure you you have you know again there's compromises turn something up but start at the mic and if you're using a dynamic microphone with no phantom power um, then just get a cloud lifter which will take advantage of your your phantom power and give that dynamic mic some extra gain with very little noise to signal ratio uh, so I hope that helps you guys I know this one was really simple and really quick but that was kind of the idea I just wanted to give you guys something to help with something that a lot of people don't really understand very very well uh, so yeah I uh, hope this helps you guys out thanks a lot